a barbell bench press doesn't really get me excited, whether it's the exercise or a machine, but the guy behind the camera, he's a bench press freak. So he's been onto me about putting this thing up for a while. And here it is, the ATX OBM 650. I might not be a bench press fan, but this thing is amazing. It is a revision of an older model, which was originally designed to fill the gap of the old Powertech WBOB bench press. So it's only after witnessing the transition of these machines over the years to see their development that you get an appreciation of how good uh, this end product really is. It's the quality and the detail on this machine that is just next level. So, you know, just check out the spotters and the J-hooks. The J-hooks have taken uh, barbell protection to the next level. The protective coating uh, extends over the steel lip, eliminating any steel on steel contact uh, when you're lifting back on, uh, even under extreme fatigue. The level of quality and detail does come at a price though. I remember years ago selling the Powertech Olympic bench press for around the uh, $600 mark. This bench press here as it sits before us is $1,700. For example, for smaller gyms, having a separate flat incline, decline and shoulder press would simply be prohibitive on cost, but also too, uh, these things take up a fair amount of space as you must take into consideration uh, the 2.2 metre width of, uh, of an Olympic barbell. So if you're a smaller gym and this sounds like your situation, uh, the ATX uh, adjustable bench press will be the answer to your prayers and save you a lot of money and space. Now the main features on this bench press Obviously, the J-hooks and the spotter arms are now adjustable. On the old model, the, the bar holders were just fixed on the top of the upright and you'd have to adjust the upright up and down. Now, you've just got your J-hooks, just the same as you would on a power rack. Same with the spotters. On the old model, they just had these little bar catches welded on the upright, whereas now, full length spotters, completely adjustable. You've got short distance spacing on your three mil thick uprights. One thing that made a, a standout to me is like the, the bracing now is just, it looks amazing. Nice clean welds. They've, they've made the, the bracing section a, a folded cutout section. It, it just looks so much cleaner now. It now also features this handy little spotting platform so you can uh, get your training partner to uh, give you a, a hand when you're under heavy loads. Jesus, I didn't know it was free ball Friday. And uh, I guess the main feature of this bench press and what will differentiate it um, to the competition is just the level of adjustability, not just in the J hooks, but it's in the bench position where it really stands out from the competition. Most standalone bench presses, whether it be flat, incline or decline, have limited start-stop positions. Some may just have three or four that are spaced quite a distance apart. This is fine if you're lifting lighter weights or you have a training partner that can give you a spot or you're fortunate that those positions are perfect for you. But if you're lifting heavy on your own and uh, it's so much easier to lift on and off if you can get exactly to that precise position where you're at the top of the lift. Now, while we're on the topic of training alone, having adjustable spotter arms on a bench press is a massive bonus for the gym owner, especially if your gym is open 24-7. Uh, this may be a requirement for insurance to have the, some sort of safety mechanism on these barbell type equipment. So even if you have the space and, a bu and budget for dedicated units, it may actually be a better option to get multiple ATX uh, adjustable bench presses 
just for that safety aspect alone. Other adjustable bench presses may offer position adjustments, but I think there would be very few that would offer such a diverse range, uh, 15 positions in total. The reason being is that um, on other benches, if they're adjustable, sometimes when you go from flat to incline, if the base of the bench does not adjust, you may be too uh, far forward for a comfortable liftoff in an, in an incline position as you progress up the angle. Thanks to the ATX roller adjustment system on the base of the bench, which is used on their MBX650 bench, the um, ATX bench press will get you into that perfect position no matter which variant you choose, whether it's upright, incline, decline. The base seat is mounted on rollers, so you simply just grab the knurled handle and release the pop pin with your fingers. Only one hand is required. Now, another handy feature is that the angles are laser cut into the chrome guide rail, making it dead easy for you to set up your pressing position. For personal trainers, it also has the docking station at the front of the bench for the various ATX bench attachments. The number of quality exercises that you can perform can potentially double or more with the addition of those attachments. So it's not bad for just a bench press. Now, personally, I would not recommend this for a home gym unless you are seriously loaded <laughs> with a massive shed, that's that simple. Uh, personally, my preference and recommendation would be to go for a, a, a power rack or a half rack with a, with a bench, as it offers uh, much more variety in a similar footprint. But I know there are people out there who love their benching. Uh, old farts like myself will remember that a, a crappy, cheap bench press with a couple of bars and some weights once con constituted a complete home gym. That was all that was available pretty much in Australia years ago. So I know there's guys that were, you know, reminisce about home training and, and you know, want to replicate what they had when they, were, when they were younger and those bench press type things were, were all the go. So I could see some guy my age has the money and yeah, wants to set something up like this. But ultimately the OBM 650 here, uh, I feel it belongs in, in smaller gyms and studios. I would not recommend it for your big box style gyms where you have a fair proportion of low IQ members. For starters, the Jayhawks and the Spotters will no, no doubt start uh, wandering around the gym or end up out the door. So that's your first issue in bigger gyms but for you smaller gyms you'll struggle to find a, a bench with this level of adjustability and quality at this price um, sadly adjustability and big box gyms do not go hand in hand uh, often when someone can't figure out how to adjust something uh, they'll scratch their head and hit it with a 20 kilo weight plate um, believe it or not that does happen but if you want to set up a smaller gym, these machines either side give you a feel of what an ATX gym could be. Uh, the seal or, or prone row bench is one of my favorite exercises, not only uh, to do myself, but what I found is it's so easy to get a beginner on there and get them to nail the form straight away. On the other side, the leg master, you get two quality leg exercise in a, in a one compact footprint. So when you weigh up the, the cost of these three units, under two grand, under two grand, under a thousand, um, and add up the number of quality exercises that can be performed, you can have a pretty solid gym at a very reasonable price.